Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a first impression and I know it like for maybe like two weeks ago I talked about or it must have been more that I want to use more things in my collection that I thought it was like too much of new things so now it's why do I feel like I have to explain myself I bought this like a month back and yeah I want to do a first impression on it so shoot me um this is the scarlet dusk from ace Boutte. I love ace Boutte. I have the flare palette and the oceanic palette two of my absolute favorite palettes so when they came out with these small palettes I was like, I really, really want them. So I bought the Vintage Dawn as well, and I thought that I was going to use that first. But I have a, like have an urge to use more pink shade. I don't know what happened. And this palette looks like this. So it's pretty many, like pinkish, and also some orange and some nudes. But I want to focus this on mostly pink and I actually think I know what I want to do I think I want to stay like in this corner I think I want to do something kind of dark but then like pop maybe these light this light shimmer and this a bit darker shimmer on my lid and see where we will go so I think this is going to be pink and a shimmery look We'll see. So I will just zoom you in and we get started with the first impression on Scarlet Dusk. And this is 12. 12 colors. In the Oceanic and in the Flare it's 15. Is it 15? Yeah, I think it's 15. So I will just get started. Okay, so I... I think I will take Pink Moon in my crease, but I don't think... Maybe I should swatch, but you know me, I never swatch, so yeah, i straight on. So I'll just take Pink Moon, <laughs> this one, and put it in my crease. And I'm a little bit afraid that this is going to be super pink. We will see. Kind of pink, but not like it's a buildable pink, and that I really like. Okay, I really like <laughs> those pink shades that are a little bit on the more you have to build them up side because I don't want them to be. I don't want too much pink so this I like and I think I want to deepen down the crease a little bit because this that is apparently my new thing I get like <laughs> I do it all the time for maybe like one month and then I just stop doing it but right now I'm in it so I will take Bahamas this one and deepen down this crease and we will see there is like no kick up at all in these. Ooh, I really like it, this shade. Such a nice shade. I think this is a really nice like f fade. And they blend together so good. And now I think I want to go in with Sangria on my outer corner of the lid. And then take Aurora and Maui on my lid. But I don't know if I'm going to go in with Sangria first. I think I will. Just like out here. Just 
something like this and maybe I will build it up later we'll see how how Aurora looks Take this a little bit in my crease out here. Okay, and now I think I just have to stop so I don't get too much, but something like this. I like. Okay, so now it's time for Aurora and Maui. And I will take Aurora on the most of my lid and take Maui in the inner corner, and we will see. I really love the shimmers in the oceanic and in flare so we will see I don't see that much on my brush or maybe I do I love my Linda Holberg brushes but they are dark in, in like the top of the bristles so sometimes it's hard to see if you have any shade on but I do okay I don't know if this was a little bit Lighter than I expected. I don't know what I expected. I feel it's a nice shade, but it feels like I need to go in quite a few times. And maybe it's not that shimmery that I thought it was going to be. But you know what, I would have known that if I would swatch it first. Okay, and then we go in with Maui. And this looks like it has like a gold tint to it. Maybe a rose gold. And it feels like this. Is getting a lot on the brush maybe because it is a light one and we okay this was a better shade and yeah I like this okay <laughs> why do I always do this I take it up in my crease when I take my inner corner shade thing I don't know why I do it with the Aurora shade and do the blend a little bit better and also apparently take the Aurora a little bit up in my crease because I did it with Maui I always do like that and then this eye as well okay, and these shades were easy to blend together and it feels like I get kind of a good fade between them. And now I just want to go in a little bit with Sangria, the dark one I had out here, to just blend that a little bit better together with Aurora. Okay, I like this. This is like the pink I wanted it. So yeah, and I really like the all all the three shades I have on my lid did go so well together with Bahamas. The one I deepened down the crease with, it goes so good. So yeah, I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. Okay, so time for the under eyes, and I will start with Pink Moon and like smoke it out underneath my eyes and then I think I just want to take Bahamas to deepen down like just a little bit out here or maybe no I take sangria the dark one so it 
maybe connect a little bit better with my lip. Okay, we're in a little bit of pink moon because it's so here. Sometimes when I take away my fallout, I like get a straight line out here and I don't want that. Oh, and then I think I will go in with Maui and I think I will take my pinky and just take a little bit in here. And then I'll go in with a clean brush and just smudge it a little bit to my lower lash. And a little bit here. Okay, so I am done like this. Yes, I am. So I'm going to take something more what line. Try to choose a lippy and I guess I will go with a pink. We will see I have a hard time with pink lipsticks. So I will fix the rest and then I come back. Okay, so this is the finished look. For my waterline I used Boots from Colourpop. And on my lips I used Ultra Satin Lip in November from Colourpop. My favorite pink. So this is my first impression with the Scarlet Dusk. Yes, from Ace Boutte. And I have used one, two, three five shades. So I've used all in the bottom row and also this Bahamas and now when I look at it it looks like the Aurora has hard pan. I don't know if I can show you. I don't know if you can see it. No. But it looks like it has hard pan. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Maybe it just looks like that. But I have to take that away or I will have pink everywhere. But yeah, I like this. The Aurora shade. This one. I, I thought it was going to be more of a shimmer shade. It is like a little bit of shimmer to it. But not that much. If I compare it to Maui, Maui was really, really, really good. So I don't know. When I felt it, it didn't feel like hard pan, but I don't know if it is... Maybe it's a shade that isn't that, like, shimmery, and <laughs> I guess that this is, like, why I should swatch some shades. But yeah, I really like it. The mattes in this, like... The three mattes I've used, Pink Moon, Sangria and Bahamas, love them, especially Bahamas and Sangria. Sangria, okay, no, <laughs> Bahamas laid so, so good over Pink Moon, it looked like amazing, and also Sangria too, they, I really like it, and this is like maybe my kind of pink, it's light, but it's pretty dark, and it's really... I really like it. It felt like all the shades blended together so, so good. Even the Aurora that felt a little bit dry blended together so, so good. So it was easy to blend together the shimmers, it like always is, but the matte as well. <laughs> so I am super happy with this one. And it feels like people, a lot of people seem not to like Ace Bute's formula. I don't know why, I haven't tried their Paradise palettes, what are they called Paradise, the Paradise collection? I don't know. So I don't know if that has another formula, but I think it feels like this is the same formula as the Flare and the Oceanic. So yeah, I really like this and if you are not a big fan of pink, I am not a big fan of pink, but it's just right now I just want to do pink. I think that this is a really good palette because it has orange and some browns as well. 
It's a pink palette, but it's not like only pink. I like it. And I am so looking forward to use these two. So yeah, I'm happy with this palette. Maybe the raw shade isn't what I wished it would be, but it was workable. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!